Hi, this is Justice, and in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the brand new oils in Rebel 4. Let's go ahead and zoom in, and let's put some oil on the screen. And the first thing you'll notice is that the oils in Rebel 4 are very nice and thick. They're glossy. They've got a lot of impasto depth. And they blend and mix beautifully. All right, so we've got some color here on the screen, and I'm using paint and mix. We're going to switch to paint and blend. If you want more information on these five different paint modes, check out that tutorial. You can see here we can push this paint around. Our brushes are tilt sensitive, which means we can get the angle of the bristles exactly where we want and control it. We can set it to follow trajectory, uh, as well as really just push and move this paint around in beautiful ways. I'm going to turn on dirty brush mode and demonstrate that real quickly. Again, there's more information on this in the specific tutorial that includes the dirty brush. So dirty brush gives that dirty brush feel that you would expect while using a real paint brush with real paint. Some of the paint from your last selected color is going to remain on the brush through a couple brush strokes. So as you continue to paint here, what you'll see here is that color starts to transition into a more pure form of the color you selected from the color palette. Let's look at some of the settings for the oil brush. So we're going to click on show visual settings. And what you can see is the oils and acrylics have a setting right here, impasto depth. You can make this very nice and thin or nice and thick. You can make it glossy, or you can make it very matte. I like a lot of depth and a little bit of gloss, not too much. We're going to keep the gloss on the higher side just so it's easier to see in this tutorial. Let's close the settings here. So inside of the brush creator, there's a couple settings that are going to affect how thick that paint is. Let's put max loading, lower, medium, setting here and then all the way up and you can see that you can get a lot thicker paint using that max loading option in the brush creator for the individual brush. Let's go ahead. We're going to delete that and let's go through these settings right here. Loading, oiliness and pressure. So for explaining these, I've created this amazing grid for you and you can see loading, oiliness and pressure. Oiliness is not easy for me to say does not roll off the tongue. Right, so this grid here, I've, I've put loading, oiliness, pressure. That was a good one. And we have up here, we have 100%, 50%, 25%, and 10%. Let's go ahead and select this. And what you're going to see um, here at the top, I have rough and oily. Uh, let's see, rough and oily. Yes. So these ones right here, this is with everything set, load, loading, oiliness, and pressure set to 100. This is with everything set to 50. This is with everything set to 25. And this is with everything set at 10. So everything set at 10 would look like basically like that. And everything set at 50 would be like this. And so you have an idea of what those settings look like here. All right, loading. Um, here, all of these ones are the same all the way down. So we have just a benchmark. So loading, oiliness, and pressure, these are all like this, 100%. And so loading, what it is, is how much paint. Oiliness is how thick the paint is. And pressure is kind of like if you were thinking about a hose and water pressure, the greater the pressure, the more of these other volumes are going to be coming out, the loading and the oiliness, how much you're going to see and demonstrate those. So there is some similarity between loading and pressure, you'll notice, but they are different really in how they work. All right, so loading, let's go ahead and zoom in. You can see that with everything at 100%, we get the same thick and oily stroke. And here you can start to see more texture from the canvas. And here you're seeing that scratchy look and here just a very light scratchy brush. Now with the oiliness, 
what I want you to look at here is I want you to look at the difference between this one right here. You can see all the texture from the canvas. It's mostly thin with a few high points of oil. Here you can see those thin areas are getting covered. There's less canvas. Here we're seeing very little canvas. And here we're seeing almost no canvas at all because of the thickness of the oil paint. Here with the pressure, you can see there's just a combination of both of those, the loading and the oiliness. And as we decrease the pressure, you can immediately see more of the canvas, less of the thickness, until it's very thin and very light. I'll leave this on the screen so you can see the whole thing and get a good picture. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Just pause the video. That's what video is for. Pause it. Okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. I am probably the only one who would think that is funny. Okay, so I made a couple of these as well. So rough and oily. You can see the same thing and rough and wet. And then when we get to the thin paints, because we have thick paints right here in oils, we also have thin paints. And in the thin paints, what you want to note is that these don't build up depth. So here what you can see with the thin oil paints is that it doesn't build up. So you're not getting that thickness that you would see in the thick oil paints. So you still have those other characteristics. You can see how the canvas pulls through. They can be scratchy and they're just not going to push around the same way as the thick paints. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of these with tilt. So here we have the fan brush and I'm tilting. My stylus around in a circle, which you can see here. And just the level of control that you have here is just so great. So fun. And let's switch to paint and blend so we can get a variety of color here. And let's turn on dirty brush. So let's pick right here. For those of you who have done digital painting for a while, you understand how unique and special what I'm doing is it's very cool. All right, so we have a palette knife. You can see that we can scrape right through this. Thick and dry, flat and bristly. oil there's there's so much that you can do with texture with the oil brushes which i really appreciate you can see how this one pulls right through that thick paint we've got this build up here and that build up of a paint is going to affect other things like watercolor so if you're using those media together the water will drip through that channel created by the thick paint and let's look down here I have some of my own personal brushes that I use um, that are oil based because it gives you the most options out of all of the other media. More settings that you can play with. All of these interact with the canvas differently. So play around with the different canvases as well. So if you choose one like this mulberry paper, uh, what you're gonna see is there's, there's a lot of texture here, especially here on the thin paints, how different these look. This one on the canvas and this one on the mulberry paper, very different looks. Rebel 4 provides a lot of different canvases. If you are looking for more, you can get more papers here. They have some great ones for sale and they have a handful of really beautiful papers for free as well.
I hope you guys really enjoy the new oils in Rebel 4. They are awesome. A lot of fun. If you guys have questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.